to Professor Vikram Singh, Chancellor Noida International University, as well as uh, uh, the other guests that we have, Rajendra Kachru, founder of uh, the amanmovement.org, a face of eradication of ragging. Uh, Aman Kachru, I want to, uh, Rajendra Kachru, sorry, I want to come first to you. Uh, I want to ask you, uh, sir, that under, uh, you know, the, the, fa the fact that at the moment we have very strict uh, uh, provisions, rules in institutions against ragging. Despite that, why do we continue to see such cases? And uh, many of these cases, unfortunately, emerge from medical colleges. Let, let me put it, give you a little background of the ragging for the last few, just only for a couple of minutes. The ragging uh, campaign virtually started in 2009 and went very well until 2019 for the decade of for full decade, we reduced ragging virtually from roughly 42% to less than 5%. But unfortunately, it was the same reduction did not happen in medical colleges. Medical colleges, there was a slight dip over the years in 2015, 16, 17, 18. But from 2019, the ragging is back into medical colleges with the same more or less same force that it existed in 2009. We have already seen two uh, suicides this year in medical colleges from April onwards. And last year, I think there was about 75% of medical colleges reported ragging of some form or the other. So it's, um, it's unfortunate that the medical colleges, although there are only 500 of them in the, in the whole country compared to 49,500 other colleges, the medical colleges have, we have a failed story for medical colleges. Uh, there is a reason why it happens, but this is this program is not for going into the great details. But the conclusion is that, yes, we have a bad story for medical colleges. Yes. And there is another bad story is that the ragging is now kind of reviving in the last two, three years because uh, because of the success we had the government, the ministry have all relaxed and the, it has gone into the back burner. So that is another reason why we are seeing a resurgence of ragging all over the place. All right. So I, I think uh, authorities need to be more vigilant, uh, especially medical institutions. Let me go across to uh, Professor Vikram Singh, sir. Uh, in this case uh, that we are seeing uh, the ragging of medical students uh, who then called up the UGC helpline and complained, uh, do you think that uh, indicates some amount of confidence that uh, the students have, uh, even though uh, they've gone through this horrifying uh, uh, incident of being ragged in the manner that they have been in a very vulgar fashion, but at least there is a redressal mechanism that they could reach out to? Absolutely, Maha. I totally agree with the fact that UGC has stepped in. But what is sadly missing is the fact that the zero tolerance which is expected of the university authorities. I too have a medical college in the university campus and we take pains to ensure that the first channel of redressal is the university 24 by 7 helpline that we have. We have a proctor, both men and women here in the campus as also the helpline. Apart from the zero tolerance and no nonsense approach, also I would have been very happy if the MG college had taken action suo moto on their own and Good. then lost the FIR also. But yes. what they chose to do is to wash their hands of the case, lost the FIR and pass the buck on to the police so that they are into a popularity contest and said we did nothing. This is not the way an institution is run. You should have been the first responder, given a very strict message, suspended, rusticated the students, but that was not done. You just went to the police and the matter ended there. This is not the way things are done. And I have my disagreement and my hmm. reservations on the action taken. Hmm. Rajendra Kachru, what uh, action, if any, can the UGC take against an institution, as uh, uh, Vikram Singh is pointing out there, for th them not having taken action promptly? It is like what Dr. Vikram Singh said. Uh, if I was, it was for me to guess that it should not reach the stage of FIR and complaints in the first place. I have for last one decade in every meeting said that universities are not investigating agencies. Professors don't know how to do policing work, but professors should know their colleges. They should know the atmosphere in their colleges. I do not believe and agree that any professor who is a chancellor, vice chancellor or a dean 
does not know what is happening in his college, then he should not be there or she should not be there in the first place. It, there are co medical colleges all over Indore in, uh, in MP. All, all colleges in MP are notorious for ragging. MP is one of the states in India where ragging is prevalent. So they, do not, they have to take steps to prevent it. I do not believe in punishment. You are punishing, they're going to punish some people hmm. for something that they, that's already in the system. So they have to rectify their system rather than pass the buck as the, uh, Dr. Singh said to the police and let the police take over. Can police do the job of a dean or a vice chancellor or a mentor of a college? Hmm. You need a mentor. You, they, they, they should be students should have faith in the college administration and they should be able to listen to them. Vikram, uh, the, Vikram Singh, what's the uh, mechanism available within the institution? I understand that there are anti-ragging cells where you can go and approach uh, uh, the person if uh, you are faced with such a situation. But are students generally hesitant to do so because then their anonymity will be lost and they could be targeted further? Is that a cause of concern? That is a major cause of concern because the anonymity is lost and there's some kind of a permission or a permissive environment in the university and the medical college especially that this is something that is acceptable no it is not acceptable the rule of law states going about the policing part they say that yes if the application discloses the commission of a cognizable offense legally and speaking you can go to the police but as mr kachuri very lucidly explained as they say you have should have the capacity as a professor as a mentor as a teacher to read the faces and address the fault lines and those fault lines have to be addressed internally and if you're not able to see the stresses and the strains on the faces of the students then you have no business to be the chancellor or the vice chancellor or a professor in your university hmm. obviously unless you have failed in your moral and your duties as a teacher that is why you're referring the matter to the police you should not firstly this should not have happened your CCTV cameras, your internal vigilance committees should have ensured and anti ranking committees that there is a system and a confidence that action will be taken and there will be consequences. Okay. Handing it to the police is just not the solution. All right. Many thanks to both of you gentlemen for joining us here on the show. It's unfortunate that the students, uh, uh, despite such stringent rules against dragging, had to go through this horrifying uh, incident.